Right, so today I'm going to be making tuna pasta bake. Um, what you need for that is you need some pasta. Doesn't matter which type you, you have. I'm using a combination of congili and fizzy pasta. Any kind of pasta will do. You will also need some grated cheese. Um, I'm going to use two types of cheese. I'm using Edam cheese and cheddar cheese because Edam cheese is quite salty. So that's why I'm mixing the two cheeses. But any cheese you want to use will do. You also need an assortment of vegetables. So I've got some onions here. I've got mushrooms. And I've got some mixed veg here. You will also need to make a cheese sauce, the, like the type of bechamel white sauce. For that, I've got some 50 grams of flour, 50 grams of butter or margarine, and I've got some milk here. You also need um, some canned tuna or tuna chunks. The amount you need is up to you. I'll be using two cans of tuna, which are roughly. 185 okay, so grams. the first thing to do is cook your pasta um, when you're cooking the pasta you don't want it to be too soft you want it to have a slight bite because it's going to go in the oven as well the amount of pasta you use is just up to you just depends on the size um, tray you have the next thing to do is to saute the vegetables so I've got a little bit of olive oil but any kind of oil will do and then I'm going to pour in the mushrooms, um, the onions, and then the other vegetables. Okay, so I'm just sautéing the vegetables. I'm not going to sauté the um, peas and these, and these other vegetables because they're already soft. I'm just wanting to sauté the mushrooms and the um, onion. Yeah, I forgot to say, some of the other ingredients you'll need is you need some ground nutmeg you need some chili pepper you will need some mixed herbs Ooh, can you see that mixed herbs you also need some black pepper and you can use some curry powder which is optional okay so what I've done now is I've added a bit of curry powder some chili pepper and some mixed herbs to this so I want to flavor this I just mix this thoroughly Okay, so the mushrooms and onions are done now. So I'm just turned off the heat. And what you do now is just add these mixed vegetables to it as well. And just cover it and leave it. Okay, now add your tuna to this as well. I'm using two cans of tuna for this amount. Okay, and then just stir this round so that it mixed thoroughly. Okay, so I've mixed it round together. Just cover this up and put it to the side. The next thing to do is to make your bechamel, the white sauce or cheese sauce. So in here I have um, my butter and flour. I'm just going to mix this round. When the flour and butter mixture have formed breadcrumbs, slowly mix in the milk. The amount of milk you use just depends on the size of the container and how much of the white cream sauce you want. Um, normally it's between 500 to 900 mils of milk that you would add. Keep on adding the milk gradually and stir continuously so you get rid of all the lumps and a thick sauce will be formed. As the cheese sauce is, I mean the white sauce is thickening, just add some of the grated cheese to it. You want to add quite a bit of cheese. Yeah, now that you added the cheese, just add enough cheese. Um, so you have a little bit left over, like how I do here, just to um, sprinkle over the top of the pasta bake. Um, as you in the cheese sauce, just add some black pepper and a bit of nutmeg just to taste. You can add sauce as well if you want, but that's optional. I'm also going to add some of the mixed herbs to this as well. So just stir this const constantly until the sauce thickens some more. Okay, the sauce has thickened nicely now. If you do find that you've added too much milk and the sauce is taking a long time to thicken, just add a little bit of flour. Add a, just add a bit of flour and that will help to thicken the sauce further. Okay, so 
now that the sauce has taken nicely we just take off the heat and it's time to assemble the pasta bake okay so to the cooked pasta remember the pasta has a slight bite because we're going to put it in the oven just add the um sauteed mushrooms onions the vegetables and tuna to it and stir it around so now that you've mixed this up it's now time to just add that cheese sauce to this as well and mix it so add the cheese sauce and mix it up as well Okay, so I've mixed this thoroughly and I'm now going to transfer it to my oven my oven dish. Okay, so now that I've spooned it into my oven um, dish, just need to sprinkle over the leftover cheese. Okay, so I've put the grated cheese over this and you now put it in an oven at um, 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Um, that's gas mark six and for those people that have fan assisted ovens that would be gas mark four and just leave it in the oven until the cheese turns a golden color i mean this this goes well with garlic bread and just some regular green salad if you are going to have it with garlic bread you can put it in at the same time as you put in this pasta bake because they cook at roughly the same temperature and they'll be done at roughly the same time Alright, so the pasta bake is now ready. The cheese has nicely melted. Like I said, I'm going to have mine with garlic bread. So that's the garlic bread. I was cooking at the same time as I was cooking the pasta bake. Um, I'm going to have it with some salad as well. Got some of this olive oil salad here. I mean, pasta bake also goes really nicely with chips as well, french fries. So yeah, basically enjoy this. Alright, so that's the pasta bake done. Um, I think alternatively, if you want to, you can have it with, instead of using tuna, you can use some of the shredded chicken meat and have that. Or if you can, you can have tuna and have some shrimps or prawns with it and mix it that way. I think it will taste really nice. But yeah, enjoy this meal.